we created a background, a very primitive layout in our first part. So right now let's work on a middle part. Before we do this, I do recommend for you to go file and save your work. It will allow you to save in a step so you can come back after and load it or if something happens, so you have it copied to reference. So always and also you can set on after save so it will save your work over and over. A middle ground, it will create a most interesting look. So what I want to do is create right there middle panel. And after we'll do something up front to create a more interesting look. Uh, because I was creating landscape and for our eyes, it's kind of pleasant sometimes to see hill on the back and maybe some um, forest or field right there up front. So we'll go and create somewhat field. For this again, we'll just click and create a basic terrain. And let's look on this terrain. So I create terrain and we'll go in a properties of our object. We'll go click on a measurement and we'll go click on a side. So you can see right here our side is one kilometer by one kilometer. So this is about right size. If I want to increase or make smaller, I can modify here, but I want to be known for sure it's one kilometer. And if I can look right there, we have it about two kilometers from mountains to the camera roughly. So it's meaning if I put it my landscape closer to the camera around here, I can modify it. It's meaning I still have it about one more kilometer from this land, what we're going and unused, which is okay. And we'll see what, because mostly we will probably cover this, but I just want to be sure if we have it some elements coming through, we maybe want to add additional terrain in this area, but most likely we don't need it worried about this. So, okay, right here, created our terrain and it does place it in the background because it was selected. So I want to go drag and take out of our background. So it will be right on the middle. Okay, next we're going to create a, some little pond in the middle of this. So let's go ahead, select our object going and click edit object. So right here we have our basic terrain. A um, few things, so let's go and modify before we do anything. I want increase resolution and I want double resolution. So because it's closer and it is not procedural, so it's one calculated, it's meaning we will see some imperfections in here. And I want to fix it some of those imperfections. So for this, we'll go double. Um, you can go higher, but I find out sometimes a little bit slower to work. And next we needed modeling our terrain. So we need to create some edges and a little bit on the middle for the lake look. So we'll go inside the paint, we'll select tool, just rise. We don't need 3D for this. And 3D will allow us to create cliff overhanging and other things, but it will increase amount of polygons that currently I don't need it. I, if I want overhang and we do probably after, we'll just can put it simple rock over some of the areas. So right here, we're going to erase. We'll go select to invert because I want to actually dig in to create this. We'll set a little bit higher radius, 83 meters. Okay, well, low flow will just pop up flow just a little bit higher. Okay, and you can right here start kind of press hold and start painting. And you can see how it's already decreasing. So this is will be our um, middle plane. Okay, sometimes notice on the edges, we don't have anything on the edges. And because our scenery kind of will stretch from all to all, I want to add these elements on the edges. We'll go and uncheck zero edges for this terrain. It will create some problems, but we work with them. One biggest problem you will see cut edge.